Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here with another video review, and today we're looking at Hunt for the Decepticons Leader Class Starscream. There you go. This is nothing new. This has been out for two, three months. Um, or unless you pay $100,000 on eBay for it, it's been out for about a year. Um, I'm only getting to this now because I had other figures I wanted to review, mostly Star Wars figures and humanized jazz. <laughs> um... But this is definitely a decent figure. Uh, probably the best movie uh, Starscream we've gotten so far. Um, G1 colors, this would be great. It would be pretty awesome. I do like the tattoos, though. That they gave them in the uh, second movie. Looks cool. Um, from the front, the jet looks really sleek and nice, but once you get to, like, to the side and then to the back, you start noticing a whole lot of kibble. A whole lot of robot junk down there. Um, but I'm not going to take any points away because this is a leader class figure. Uh, this is a big robot um, being squished down into a kind of a small jet, if you think about it. Um, so Hasbro did the best they could. I think they did a really good job on this. Um, it's probably, you know, this is probably the second best leader class figure in the Revenge of the Fallen line. Um, Right behind Optimus Prime, so pretty cool. Has wheels, landing gear. It does roll surprisingly smoothly. It doesn't like you know, doesn't do that. The wheels don't get stuck. They actually roll really smoothly. So got missiles. There you go. Pretty nice jet. Form. So his main features in this um, form are. No one can defeat Starscream. So you get some voice clips and a jet sound or missile sound, whatever it is. So pretty awesome. I think this is the first Decepticon or the first leader class figure to feature two clips other than just one. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think maybe Jetfire did, but I can't remember. What, whatever. So, um, unfortunately, I will not be showing the transformation. There are millions of other videos out there you can go follow. Um, I suggest C2904. Um, he had a, he did a really good review on this guy. So I'm just gonna go right to the robot mode and talk about that. Okay. See you in like two seconds. Now, depending on how you uh, put your legs, I like to put mine like this, not, you know, not with the knees all the way bent, just just a little bit. Um, here he is, Starscream in robot mode. Um, I didn't use the instructions. I say this in every one of my reviews. I never use the instructions unless I absolutely need to. So, if he's transformed wrong, then that's how he's going to remain because that's how I transform them. So. There you go. Take a look at his head here. Very nicely detailed. Really liking this star screen. It's really detailed. Um, I wish there was some wrist articulation. It has the same problem as Battle Bleed Bumblebee. But not a whole, not a big problem. I mean, it's just so I, I wish you could have wrist articulation so you could get them in better poses. So, but you know, he bends the shoulders, elbows, he turns the elbows. He, you know, he has pretty good articulation, pretty darn good articulation. Head. Go back and forth, just like that. So, anyways, in this mode, he comes with two voice clips. You pull down on the uh, canopy here. No one can defeat Starscream. Decepticons will crush the Autobots. Here we are. Prime over here. That's the uh, just one. So. 
you know, with the uh, sound gimmicks, this guy, I think, is probably the best out of all the leader classes. He has more sound clips than any other leader class figure we've ever gotten. So, I think he has a total of three. The other guys, like, Prime only has, like, what, two? Megatron two? You know. So, one more makes him a better figure, you know, sound clip-wise, but whatever. Um, with his legs... The way I have him, he's about he's about a half an inch taller than Prime. You can't see it because the camera's at an angle, but he is taller than Prime. This is with the legs the way I have him. So, um, so yeah, pretty awesome figure. Definitely a close second to uh, leader Revenge of the Fallen Prime. Um, it's a definite must have. It's, it's between 40 and 45 bucks, so it's going to be pretty expensive. But, you know, if you're a Starscream fan like I am, this is definitely um, a figure that belongs in your collection. Before I go, let's just show his gun here. You know, he folds up his fingers and you just peg it in. It doesn't really stay up, but it's it's pretty cool. He also has before I forget, he has his uh, guns on the side of his arms here. The flip of the red switch, they pop up. You got missiles over here. You got a Gatling gun over here. So. Pretty cool. Um, this missile does fire, by the way. So, yeah. Very cool figure. Get him if you don't have him. Or, um, you know what, just get him. He's, he's worth it. He's definitely a must-have. So, well, there you guys go. Leader class, Starscream. See you guys later.